He's special. Are we having fun yet? I do not care how many times we talk about Josh Primo. I'll talk about him all day. So here's the thing. I want to talk about Josh Primo once again because I think that we're not really grasping how special he could potentially be. So coming into the draft, it was kind of crazy. I actually decided to go back and at least look at some of the things that were said about him. And a lot of articles that I found were basically comparing him to Gary Trent Jr. And while that's not a bad comparison by any means, I think that they're really losing how good he could actually be the more i watch josh primo what i'm starting to see is that i am it's having i'm having a very hard time comparing him to anyone uh he could very well just end up being the next josh primo because every single time that i'm looking into different things about his game things that will make him special it's like dude i cannot pinpoint anything that like is comparable to other players like it's like small things it's like he's a mixture of all these different players into one and it's really becoming difficult for me to just make one-to-one -one comparisons it's, it's nearly impossible now i have said that mentality wise i do see kobe demeanor wise i see kobe he actually looked up to kobe as well um and we found that out you know later on as well but yeah i i i, I see some kobe in him but when it comes to like his playing style it's it's hard to pinpoint guys like so here's the thing, when he came into the league, um, he was basically known, at least from the masses, as a catch and shoot shooter. Even when we drafted him, I didn't know a lot about him. And when you look up highlights of him, that's what he was in college. Uh, he was just a catch and shoot, and that was his role. So here's the thing with Josh Primo. So the fact that he has dribbling ability, the fact that he can cross you over, the fact that he can play make, the fact that he can play defense, and that at some point, in his career, his young career, but his career, he's played as a catch and shoot shooter. I definitely can see him being extraordinarily dangerous. Not only can he be a playmaker with the ball in his hands, he could be a playmaker without the ball in his hands. If you guys know, even Steph Curry, one thing that he doesn't get a lot of credit for is that he's really good at creating space and creating for his teammates when he doesn't even have the ball in his hands because people are so focused on him and keying in on him and shooting. Now, I'm not saying Josh Primo can be a Steph Curry because, I mean, that Steph Curry's IQ and shooting ability is... is We'll never see anything like that again. But what I am saying is the fact that he has so many things in his arsenal and that he's still growing, I don't know what we're going to get. If he stays, here's my perspective. If he stays 6'6 six, six right now and he's playing the way he's playing and he just developed his skills as, as is, I say he could be a star. But when you look at the fact that he could potentially grow, there's so many things to his game. He could right now he's a shooting guard he could potentially become a point forward that that's just nuts to me and that would really speak volumes of the san antonio spurs know exactly what they're doing when it comes to drafting and i'm telling you every single time i've looked back at like some of the draft uh things on josh primo people didn't really know like even here right you know from uh, bleacher report they say the draft's youngest prospect primo caught scouts attention with his shooting for 6-6 guard through flashes of off the dribble skill suggests there's more scoring and playmaking potential to unlock that is true that is true but they didn't mention defense and that, that's one thing i've seen is that he plays pretty good defense um and i i don't know man i think the gary trent jr comparison isn't necessarily a bad one but i I, I, I see him as becoming much better than that. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about it, man, because I don't know. I, I'm, I'm Maybe I'm just a little too excited about the Josh Primo thing. And maybe I'm just like sitting back like, ah, you know, what could be with our team not being great right now. Um, but man, I have to say, I think that we really have something special here. And when it's all said and done, he could potentially be the next great spur. So just let me know what you think um, if you agree disagree whatever just just tell me um also if you want to support the channel only two dollars a month uh patreon youtube members i'll get with you guys later man until next time deuces